Today, we are comparing two of our best-selling home brewers and putting them head-to-head. -head. Who will come out on top, the Impress or Aeropress? There is only one way to find out. First up is the Aeropress, which, due to its many parts, can at first seem daunting, but you soon get used to it. We're using a blend made especially for the Aeropress, much finer than those intended for a cafetiere. One scoop is roughly the same as one shot of espresso, so put in as much as you feel like. First, we're adding 40 grams of water at a temperature of 80 degrees Celsius to allow the coffee to bloom for 30 seconds before adding the rest of our water. After a quick stir, apply the plunger. This should take about 20 seconds. The Aeropress is easy to clean. Simply pop out the grounds and filter into a bin and then rinse it under a tap. Let's see how it's scored. Now over to the Impress, a much simpler kit than the Aeropress with just three components. We recommend a cafetiere grind for the Impress. Remember, you don't want to use boiling water when making coffee. The most difficult part of the Impress is the recommended 3 minute wait before plunging. One of the best features of the Impress is that it comes in a handy travel mug so that you can have great coffee on the move. But be careful as it's insulated so it stays hot for a long time. The filter in the Impress isn't as fine as the micro filters that come with the Aeropress, so the coffee itself isn't as smooth. However, the filter is reusable, so you don't have the risk of running out of filters like with the Aeropress. Let's see the scores. The Aeropress definitely comes on top for taste, but the Impress is much easier to use and looks much more stylish. If you like your coffee on the move, the Impress may be the one for you, but if you're all about great tasting coffee, the Aeropress will not disappoint. Thanks for watching and remember, Get your Aeropress or Impress from us here at York Coffee Emporium and we'll throw in a free bag of coffee.